Hello dear students, welcome to the channel Visual Physics Tutor, the best place to learn the concepts of physics in the most easiest and finest way. So today we will be dealing with a derivation related to potential energy of an electric dipole placed in a uniform electric field or this can be alternatively be called as work done by an external agent to turn the dipole from an angle theta 1 to theta 2 placed in a uniform electric field and at last we will learn the conditions for stable equilibrium and unstable equilibrium. Now to understand this what we have to do is we have to place an electric dipole in an uniform electric field and then we have to apply an external agent. This external agent can be a force that means we are doing a work. This work done is actually done to turn the dipole against the direction of the electric field. Then we can say that this work done on the electric dipole to turn against the direction of the electric field can be called as its potential energy. So what we can do is we can consider a uniform electric field. So we will draw a uniform electric field. Now in this uniform electric field we will place an electric dipole. So at, I have a minus Q charge here. So let it this be at point A. I have a plus Q charge here at point B and let them be separated by a distance to A. Now this system constitutes an electric dipole. So you can see here the electric dipole is placed in an electric field. Now as in the previous derivation you had learned that a force will be exerted for this positive charge in this direction. So F is equal to QE. Similarly, a force will be exerted for the negative charge in this direction. So that will be F is equal to again QE. Now we can assume here this dipole is at an angle theta 1. So now let us assume that now the dipole is placed this way. Now we have to turn the dipole against the direction of the electric field. So what I will do here, so I will just turn it this way by a very small angle d theta. That means initially the angle was theta 1. Now by moving a small angle d theta, now the final angle will be theta 2. That means for turning by a small angle d theta, I will be doing a small amount of work that is dw. So I can write here so work done by an external agent to turn the dipole by small angle d theta against the electric field from theta 1 to theta 2. So now that means now this is theta 1 here so I can turn this electric dipole Suppose now the electric dipole has been turned to this orientation and the angle here made is small angle d theta but the total angle now will be theta 2. So I can write here dw is equal to 2 d theta. Now here the torque and the angular displacement are in the same direction but the torque is a variable torque. So I can write here total work done 
W is equal to integral I can put the limits theta 1 over to theta 2 to d theta but now in the previous derivation you have learned to is equal to p e sin theta so I can write here but to is equal to p e sin theta that means now we can write here work is equal to integral theta 1 over theta 2 p e sin theta d theta now we can take the p e the dipole moment and the electric field out so i can write here is equal to p e theta 1 theta 2 sin theta d theta now the integration of sin theta is minus cos theta so I can write here W is equal to minus P E I can write here cos theta I can bring the limits to this side so it is theta 2 and theta 1 now I can write here the work is equal to minus P E cos theta 2 minus cos theta 1 by rearranging we can write here w is equal to p e cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2 that means now this is the work done by an external agent to turn the dipole from an angle theta 1 to theta 2 which is placed in a uniform electric field now if theta 1 is equal to 90 and theta 2 is equal to theta so we can substitute these values in this equation so we can see here then the above equation becomes w is equal to p e cos 90 minus cos theta now you know that cos 90 is 0 so we can write here w is equal to minus p e cos theta so this much work is stored in the dipole as its potential energy So we can write this much work is stored in the dipole as its potential energy. that means this formula w is equal to minus p e cos theta now can be simply rewritten as u is equal to minus p e cos theta now to put it in the vector form we can write u is equal to minus p vector dot e vector now let us study about the conditions for stable equilibrium Now we know that for stable equilibrium here the dipole will be parallel to the electric field that means the value for theta will be 0 
So I can write here u is equal to minus p e cos 0. So that means cos 0 is equal to 1. So I get here u is equal to minus p e. So you can see here e in this case if the electric field is in this direction the dipole here minus q and plus q will be in this direction that means they are parallel to the electric field in this condition it will be stable and when it is stable the potential energy will be minimum so in this case the potential energy is minimum now let us take the case for unstable equilibrium For unstable equilibrium, the dipole will be anti-parallel to the electric field. That means here, theta will be 180 degree. Now you know that cos 180 is minus 1. So now if we can write here u is equal to minus p e cos 180. So this could be written as u is equal to minus p into minus 1 that means here you get u is equal to p e so here the value will be positive and when it is u is equal to p e the potential energy will be maximum Now for this you can see here the electric field is in this direction direct direct. directed from positive to negative. That means you can have the positive Q charge over here and the negative Q charge over here. That means now the electric dipole is aligned in the anti-parallel direction. So here you can see that the angle theta is the angle between the dipole moment P and the electric field. So when for a stable equilibrium the angle between P and E will be 0 and for unstable equilibrium the angle between P and E will be 180 degree. Hope you have understood this derivation and thanks.